Uh, what's up, girl? We got Moo Moo Fresh in the building. As y'all see, she's swollen in the back. She she is in heat. Um, we about to go get the next progesterone. Um, she was a one the last time. That was about three days ago. Um, so uh, typically, Moo Moo's not typical. That you know they start to double once they hit around one. Uh, sometimes they can really start to double once they hit closer to like four. Uh, so, but sometimes you can expect one, two, you no know, three, five, or one, two, four, or one, three and a half, five and a half. You know what I'm saying? Then like eight and a half, fifteen. I mean, but you gotta know your dog, or sometimes you gotta really see how your dog is progressing through the heat. One thing that you know you kind of want to do, um, but you don't want to get too many progesterones, um, is ch try to catch the LA surge, catch the spike. Once you catch that spike, it's over with. You already know when she's going to be ovulating. So my whole goal in this is, and last time was catching when she would ovulate. Uh, last time, um, Matt Venom Lion, what's up, brother? Um, at the, my, it was like the same time the vet hit me, my. I was I was tapping in with Matt every day. Um, I got the progesterones. As I'm tapping in with Con every day, actually, that I'm getting the progesterones. Uh, shout out to Con. Uh, but Matt, you know, he got he did his little numbers. You know what I'm saying? Gave me, you know what I'm saying? The day she was gonna be Ivy Lane, which actually was the same day that the vet said she would be Ivy Lane. Uh, so shout out to Matt for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but um, yeah, we we in route, y'all. We about to take Moo Moo to the vet. Get those progesterone numbers. Hopefully those numbers up high. Man, listen, y'all. It's Thanksgiving. It's turkey season. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is going to be closed with family, eating good stuff in their faces for the majority of the part. And we need to get Mumu already going. You know what I'm saying? Because it gets really tricky. It gets really, 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 really difficult when the vets get closed and you're trying to do a surgical. So, uh, look at the alarm clock going off. So, we... Uh, we about to head out, y'all. What the fuck? Yeah, so let me knock the crust up off of me. I thought I had it off of me, but it's so cold, y'all. One more. Let's go. So we about to hold, we about to head over and out to the vet. Um, we heading up the gentle curve, and uh, let's see what these numbers is, y'all. Yeah. Hopefully we right on time, y'all. Hopefully we right on time. But we'll see what those numbers are, and then we'll go from there. Top. Top of the top, 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 top of the top, 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 top of the top. All right, y'all, so, uh, you know, give Moo her vitamins, uh, you know, give Moo Moo uh, her fish oils, you dig? And um, man, one of the biggest things that I make sure to give her, I don't wait until after I breed my dog. Once my dog is in heat, man, she is getting folic acid, you dig? She's getting it. five milligrams is what you want. Um, you don't want none less. You might see another dosage that's too low, actually. And um, you want you want you want the five milligrams of folic acid. This helps with the reproductive. Um, that really does a great job, if I do say so myself. We're gonna go ahead and get them to Moo Moo. Come on. Let's see. Ugh. So what I typically do is I just I just like I, I open their mouth, put their pill back there. I rub her. By the time she get the licking, it's over. It's over with. Come on, don't do this next one. Come on, girl. And sometimes you just want to, you want to blow to that nose when she get the licking. You ain't gotta worry about nothing else is in there. So we going to the vet seriously now, y'all. The top way, baby. Let's go check these numbers out, y'all. Yo. Y'all, we gone. We over and out. Uh, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, sitting on top of the world. All right, y'all, we are here. We are here. We got Mumu Fresh with us. We about to head inside. We at Gentle Care. I don't know if y'all can see this truck in the way, but we are at Gentle Care. And uh, we finna get it, man. Come on, let's go. Hit it. Come on. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all on the inside, man. We at level five, so um, I'm hoping that with Mumu and how she is, she will mess around with a 3.5. Um, and then she'll spike tomorrow or something crazy. So um, we're gonna see where she at. I'm hoping she's closer to that point where I, I can. I don't ship it. Juggernaut babies are in route in Mumu. So let's see how it goes, y'all. Top way, baby. With Mumu shredded, y'all. That mixed with Juggernaut plus that shred he got. Then he gonna add even more bone thickness. Uh, all right, y'all. So we um we just we just left the vet. We just literally walked out of the vet. We right here, posted up, just chilling. Uh, well, really, just to let y'all know that you know Mumu was at our baseline the other day. So we hoping that the numbers are up and that she's ready. Um, I got a few days before the holidays to make this happen. So depending on the day of her ovulation, it's gonna determine how I can exactly um, breed Mumu fresh. I'm going surgical, of course. Um, and we just gonna we just, we gonna check the number. We gonna we gonna wait a lot, uh, about an hour or two. We gonna get those numbers. We gonna go from there. Okay. So that's what we gonna do. So we'll see y'all soon. I will update y'all with the results um, soon. And uh, we'll go from there, man. You know what I'm saying? So, baby jugs, baby juggernauts, get ready. Uh, yes, uh, we in route, baby. So, in fourth quarter living, y'all, we're going out with a bang. Come on, man. Progress is progress, too. So, we making it. Let's just keep going, y'all. Man, I love the support. I appreciate everybody. Um, until next time, in due time. Hey, we'll see. It's uh, top way, baby. Top of the top, 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 top of the top, 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 top of the. All right, y'all. So we're we finna do another vet visit. Progesterone test. You dig? I think it's about time I buy my own damn progesterone machine. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. It's a part of the game. You know what I'm saying? We trying to make sure we catch this ovulation so we can get Juggernaut to ship that semen. Well, we can get Khan to ship Juggernaut semen. But we gonna take a ride up there, you dig? We try not to do all that, man. We we already here, it's the holiday season. We we, we trying to make it happen. So, um, we gonna head on over there. We gonna see what her numbers is today. Uh, last, the other day, um, her numbers was only a 1.2. So, um, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, uh, Turkey Day. Uh, so, uh, the vet won't be open. I really wanted to wait till then or Friday to go. I'm gonna go ahead and go today since the vets will be closed tomorrow, just so we can see what she had to see if I can catch that LA surge, catch that little spike to see when she's gonna be ovulating. Excuse me. And, um, and then we'll really know what day we can really start making moves. So. Um, I'll catch up with y'all in just a second. You know what I'm saying? Over and out. Right, Mumu is in the back. Um, getting a progesterone test. We also gonna get those nails clipped. Um, so, um, I know walking on the concrete can help reduce that. And um, I ain't been having a out, I've been having an out around the yard and stuff, but I haven't been walking up too much since it got cold. So we gotta get them nails clipped today too. Um, keep it comfortable for her while she's walking, but she's in the back getting those, getting the progesterone test, um, kicking it with the docs and the nurses real quick. So 
Hopefully we close up or we hit around those numbers that we want. So we can get the ball rolling. Do time. We'll see. Alicia and D make every day. Our veterinary technician during the valuable part of our Tap team. in and see what Moo Moo Fresh uh, just drawn that was in. Top way, baby. Fresh's uh, on progesterone levels. See what they are today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. One moment, okay? Okay. Nine. Oh, one point six nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I should have a few, a few, um, few days until I need to come back. Um, does it? What day does the doctor suggest I come back? One point six nine. Yeah, so it looks like she actually. Okay, all right. Appreciate that. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. All right. So, uh, Moon was only a one point six, um, almost one point seven, something like that. So. Um, we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna wait a couple of days and give us some time. It looked like Moon's actually um, having a normal heat cycle where she's gonna bleed through and then um, she's gonna start to ovulate. So um, that's the assumption I'm under. Um, I went to the vet. The first time I went to the vet was about, about five days ago. So. Um, looks like she's going through the normal bleed process and then once the five is usually typically seven to nine days um, when they're bleeding and then they around the time the end of the, the bleeding uh, when it stops is when uh, everything goes to like boom she she she, she ready she getting ready she about to be ready so it looked like um, since our first bring it didn't pretty much kind of like regulated it um, the craziest thing for me is that the last time she had a split heat that completely threw me off. That was my first time I ever experienced it. Mumu came in and around this time she, she declined and then it took a while. She came right back in um, a couple weeks later, a month later, something like that. Um, and then it's like, boom, she shot out. Like as soon as she started to come in, the first day she bled, um, I tapped in with Matt like every single day. It only took like four days or something for her to actually like, hey, cut it, cut it. It actually took um, like four days. Like while Mumu was still bleeding, four or five days, she was she she started she ovulated. We we uh, caught the LA surge, the spike, and then we realized the day that she would um, be um, ovulating. The day of her ovulation was a Sunday, which was real crazy because no vets open on Sunday. But I'm tapped in with a couple of them around here, so um, I had one of them that was gonna gonna shake something for me on on that Sunday. Um, you know what I'm saying? They were gonna tap in with me, but um, I ended up doing it the day before on that Saturday and got 10 King V puppies. Time to move fresh. So now we just waiting on the uh, the ovulation, man. So um, they said come back Monday. I mean, Friday. I probably don't go back to Monday. I'm gonna enjoy the holiday weekend. Um, I'm gonna monitor her, tap her in with a meal. If I need to take a Friday, I'm gonna take her. Um, I, might I might take a Saturday just to see where she at. Uh, Friday would be a good day for shipping just in case Con, you know what I'm saying, need to ship that seam on. But um, I think I can probably hold out to Monday. Uh, time will tell. So these are just projections. Project how do you say that word? Projections. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? So we just we just estimating a lot right now. So um, in due time, they will see. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Juggernaut, we, we, we getting ready. So. I'm excited, y'all. Um, ready to get this process over with. It is such a roller coaster ride. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm really a mellow person, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, this kind of shake things up for me a little bit. So, um, my this is the end of this video. My catch me in the next one. We we, we should have we should have Mumu um, maybe like one two more progesterone, and we're gonna go into the surgical. So, stay tapped in. With top of the top kennels, y'all. We out. One love, brother.